today we're gonna be right to something new i don't even know who he is i'm guessing that he's a comedian because he says jokes we got top 100 rodney danger field jokes this is my first time like i said reacting to it why does he look like a televangelist <laughs> <laughs> Why do he belongs like in an old commercial? You know, this is old. I don't know, but... Why does he look like... Mr. Rogers. Guy? Mr. Rogers. Why he remind me oh, of Mr. Yeah. Rogers? Why he the look suit? like the guy from American Psycho's dad? <laughs> I, never, I never saw it. We need to watch that. That's a good movie, though. I never got a chance. I've only seen, like, clips of it. I've never seen a whole, like, movie. I never saw it. That's a good movie I heard. But not only that, we got two amazing people on the screen. Please introduce yourself. Please tell the artist where you follow on social media. I don't, it don't matter which one, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so i'm lucy i'm a model from st louis missouri and you can follow me on instagram.com slash lucy mm-hmm. i'm nikki serenity i am also a st louis area model and actress you can find me on instagram at nikki serenity artist facebook nikki serenity st i have a facebook group nikki serenity fans anywhere else just look up nikki serenity i'm on it Pretty much everything. Man, you can join our uh, Facebook group. You gotta yeah, join a fan. fan group. You gotta join it, man. But hey, I might become a fan of this guy because I see a lot of people reacting to this man. And I know this is kind of old, but hey, we still gonna get into it. He looks we'll Italian. S- Italians crack me up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see what he's got. I'm a big stand up fan. Hey, hit. Let's get 5,000 likes on this video. We get 5K likes, we'll do more. Hit the like button and hey. subscribe. Let's get into it. Let's and go. Comments, turn on the bell notification. Yeah, turn that on right now. All that stuff. I'll tell you, I can't relax, you know? Now, the other night I was in a place I felt like having a few drinks. Someone over to the bartender I said, surprise me. He showed me a naked picture of my wife. <laughs> what? To tell you the truth, and my wife and I, we never have sex. No. Now, we get undressed, we can't stop laughing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I got no sex life. Do they take off their clothes because how out of shape they are? Because they start, can't stop laughing? I don't know what it is, though. I don't feel weird if like, I take my clothes off and my partner start laughing at me. <laughs> well, I'm not that picky, but if a guy has bigger boobs than me, it's probably a no. <laughs> Uh, ten years ago, my wife put me on hold. <laughs> my old man, he didn't help at all, my old man. We used to play tag and he'd drive. <laughs> it's not easy being me. When I was born, a doctor told my mother I did all I could, but he pulled through anyway. <laughs> I mean, and nobody was nice. My mother never breastfed me. She told me she liked me as a friend. <laughs> so when I was born, after the doctor cut the cord, he hung himself. <laughs> and I tell you, I can't relax, you know? My dog drives me nuts. My dog. He wants me to mate him. I wouldn't mate him. Let him go through what I go through. <laughs> I mean, last week was rough. Are you kidding? Last week I looked up my family tree. Two dogs were using it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you yeah. why. I knew was too be smart. Italian. You know, one night you went out, some guy stole the car. I took you to see what he looked like. She told me she got the license plate number. <laughs> oh, my wife. Oh, one night she told me she felt romantic. I took her to a drive-in movie. I spent the whole night trying to find out what car she was in. You guys got that, right? She got the license plate number of someone that stole her car. She got oh, her own car. Her license, license plate, plate that's number. crazy. <laughs> she got huh? her own plates. Man. Hey, it's easy to forget, though. Yeah. Easy. Your own car? You're going to report your own car? <laughs> yes. I don't, no, I don't remember my. Are license you his wife? Plate number. No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We're cracking the code right now. I know here, I y'all. like him older, but maybe not. Quite maybe not that older. <laughs> She told me she got the license plate number. <laughs> oh, my wife. Oh, one night she told me she felt romantic. I took her to a drive-in movie. I spent the whole night trying to find out what car she was in. <laughs> this afternoon, my wife cracked up the car again. I was out driving her. She told me she would make a U-turn. I'll tell you the letter she made. You'll never find any of it. Oh, he's a strange doctor. Strange doctor. Oh, hey, you kidding? I asked him if my heart was strong enough to sex. He told me not if I join in, you know? <laughs> I'll tell you my trouble, I got the wrong doctor. You know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombach. Know my doctor? That's a crazy name. What a doctor. Why do doctors doctor. always have the strangest names? They always got the longest, confusing names for some reason. My oh. father's a doctor. Oh, he is? We don't have a weird name. Oh. I would his, first, his first name's weird. I would ask, but I don't know if you, you want to put that to everybody to know. Uh, no, but his first name's a little bit weird. It's oh. A-L-B-R-O. People are always like, <laughs> I didn't know that, I didn't know your dad was from another country. I'm like, he's not. <laughs> How do you pronounce it again? His mom, his mom is. His mom's from a different country. How do you pronounce his name? Albro. 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 That's a cool name, though. Yeah, he, he would just go by Al. And we get Christmas letters for Albert. Oh, doctor. Oh, I called him last week. I told him, Doc, I swallowed a bottle of sleeping pills. He told me to have a few drinks and get some rest. <laughs> 
Right, not easy. Not easy. You not can't easy. trust doctors either. They're all mixed up. You, you really kidding? think so, huh? Uh, my proctologist used to be a photographer. Yeah. <laughs> a photographer? <laughs> hey, he took x-rays, told me to bend over and say cheese. <laughs> Oh, I told my wife I want to die in bed. She said, again? <laughs> I mean, I'm getting old. I'm not a kid anymore. I know I'm getting old. In Vegas, I played a slot machine. Three prunes came up. <laughs> I know I'm getting old. I'm at the age now. If I hear someone goes both ways, I figure it's number one and number two. Because you know? <laughs> old people can't pee and poop, right? <laughs> Man. Hey, that's scary, though. Just uh, having someone like to assist you to go to the restaurant when you get older. That would be the, not my worst nightmare. He has good delivery. Yeah, I love what he's saying, though. He's hilarious, though. Especially like, with his accent, too. I don't know, like, what year these are from, but this is pretty good for, like, older comedy, I feel like. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. we, we've been reacting to, um, what's his name? Bill Burr. That's what we've yes, been reacting to. I love Bill Burr. Yeah. Hey, if you're a Bill Burr uh, so fan. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. We've reacted to Dave Chappelle together? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, yeah, we yeah, did. We did. Yeah. We did. Oh, Burt. Kirshner, he's one of his. He's coming to St. Louis. Oh. I don't know. Oh, we gotta check that out, Dan. For sure, I have to check that out. No, if I hear someone guy. goes both ways, I figure it's number one and number two. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I don't get a break with nothing. I joined Gamblers Anonymous. They gave me two to one. I don't make it. <laughs> oh boy, the other night in Las Vegas, I tell you, I got loaded on what I'm doing. I played dice, I lost a thousand bucks. Oh, I got sad. even though I stole four hundred sweet and lows. <laughs> This afternoon, my wife started in again. Yeah, she keeps throwing up when I work Las Vegas. I went broke playing the slot machines, you know? I'll tell you, Las Vegas, I got slot machines all over, even in supermarkets. Yeah, they, they do, even at airports, they do. $238. It's crazy. My old man, he didn't help either. The time I was kidnapped, they sent back a piece of my finger. He said he wanted more proof. <laughs> hey, you kid, I know I'm ugly. I stuck my head out the window, got arrested for mooning. <laughs> I know I'm ugly. I went to a freak show. They let me in for nothing. That's crazy, though. He said, I know ugly. They let me in a freak show for nothing. I've been to an actual freak show in no, California. Yeah, I've been to a freak show in California. That was a freaking crazy experience in my life. I want to go to one. What? That sounds awesome. Nikki, I, is we it like the in one. Because I have armpit hair? No, I said we. Oh, we. <laughs> like, it's it's that. almost like he a circus. Almost. That it's almost no. like a circus, but dangerous no, one. The reason I say that, okay, I was on my friend's podcast thing, Anthony Rogers' show. Go check it out. Um, he was telling his mom who he was going to be interviewing that day. He's like, he's like, yeah, I'm going to be interviewing that guy who had sex with a dolphin. And his mom's like, well, be sure That's to weird. ask him good questions, honey. And then he's like, yeah, and I'm going to be interviewing a model with armpit hair. And she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's what she was upset about. Not the guy who did it with a dolphin. Yeah. That's crazy. Doing it with a dolphin is, hey, your mind gotta be messed up. Dude, dolphins are messed up. They, like, rape each other and murder each other for fun, for no reason, just because they find it fun. Dolphins yeah. are evil, man. That's, that sounds evil, just for kid, fun. I was an ugly kid, too. How ugly? How ugly? <laughs> I was so ugly, my mother breastfed me through a straw. <laughs> Hey, my wife can't do nothing He's right. She quick. can't cook the worst cook in the world. Gave my kid alphabet soup. He spelled out help. <laughs> what a lousy cook. I mean, how can toast have bones? <laughs> She's a lousy cook, too. She can't cook at all. I leave Dental Force in the kitchen. The roaches hang themselves. <laughs> I live in New York on the west side, you know. Rock that explains it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I'll dude. tell you, I live in the only neighborhood when I plan my budget, I allow for hold-up money. <laughs> what a neighborhood. What a first day I moved in, I asked a cop, I said, how long I walked to the subway? He said, I don't know, so far, no one ever made it. <laughs> no, it's a rough building, a rough building. I tell you, rather, nothing but robberies. Every night is robberies, robberies, forget about it. Nothing but robberies in my apartment building, you know? I mean, every time I close a window, I hit somebody's hands. <laughs> Oh, that was actually funny, though, because somebody obviously tried to break yeah, in someone's house. In. That's funny. You though. guys ever had a window close on your hands, though? Yeah, I had a door shut no, on my hand. Yeah, I had a door shut on my hand. That hurts, man. No, but so I bad. remember my friend who lived behind me, and I, yeah, like right over the, the fence, and I just heard like a scream out of nowhere, and I'm, she came over later, I'm like, Kelsey, what was that? And her pinky was like all bruised up under the nail. She had slammed it in the car door. Mm. I was like, man, but that wasn't me. That's real. The window, I hit somebody's hands. <laughs> I tell you.
I tell you, folks, with me, nothing comes easy. You know, I can't lose any weight. I tried jogging. I keep running into restaurants. <laughs> I was so fat when I got my shoes shot. I had to take the guy's word for it. I mean, I was fat. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Doctors say all kinds of exercise is great. You burn up uh, energy, you lose calories. I mean, mm. in fact, doctors say when a man likes, makes love to a woman, he burns up energy, he loses 150 calories. I made love to a girl once and lost even more. I lost 150 calories, my watch, and my watch. <laughs> I mean, the last time I made love to my wife, it was ridiculous. <laughs> Nothing was happening. I looked right, so what's the matter? Can't you think of anyone either? <laughs> <laughs> they are married? Now you kid, I know my wife cheats on me. Every time I come home, the parrot says, quick, out the window, you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> My sex life is nothing. My wife cut me out to once a month. Cut me down to once a month. Oh, I'm lucky. Two guys I know she cut out completely. <laughs> my old man, he didn't help either. Kept taking me to the zoo. He said he was hoping my real parents would claim me. Oh my, my kids, they don't help either. The other day I told my kid, I said, someday you'll have children of your own. He said, so are you. <laughs> Smart Parents kid. always say the that. The other day I told him about the birds and the bees. He told me about my wife and a butcher. <laughs> I tell you, I can't relax. My kid drives me nuts. The other day, I told him, I said, you're young, you don't have it upstairs. He told me I'm old, I don't have it downstairs. <laughs> and this girl was no bargain either. She was fat. Fat, huh? How fat when she wears high heels, she strikes oil, okay? She's fat. <laughs> she was fat. Fat, that's a big girl. Remember how we met her, hit her with my car. She said, me why don't you go around me? I told her, I didn't think I had enough gas. <laughs> Big, big what? I met her at the Macy's parade. She was wearing ropes. <laughs> uh, so I always wondered how my wife got her license the first time she took the test. I found out the inspector said he wouldn't go through that again. <laughs> the last time my wife drove hey, her license. Got her license. Hey, women are one of the worst drivers of all time, so I understand why they didn't want to go through that again. It's a headache. For real, man. Look, look at they being quiet, though. They know it's true, though. <laughs> women cannot drive like that. I'm just being honest. Like, I be getting scared. I be holding on a little side. Of, you know the little the hanging thing? I be hanging on that. When they're like moms when their teenage son starts driving, getting, a, getting in the car Oh, with the my girl. gosh. My mom was, my dad was so chill, but my mom was like, Nikki, watch out. Nikki, be careful. I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm scared of getting in the car with a woman. It'd be scary, honestly. Wouldn't go Let's make again. a day of it. <laughs> The last time my wife drove the car, she cracked it up, went into a tree. She told me it wasn't her fault. She blew the horn. In a tree? Oh my gosh. I told you, I'm not lying. Are you kidding? Well, my mother had morning sickness after I was born. <laughs> oh, it's not easy. I got no respect the day I was born. Really? No respect. The doctor picked me up and smacked me. I found out the night she got a few in two. <laughs> Now, with gambling, I'm never Sometimes lucky. Last to get a track, I shut off the opening. So they used to, every now and then, have to do that back in the day. They'd have to hold the baby upside down and give him some taps. Yeah, to, yeah. To get them to breathe. Right. But I guess mm. they gave him, like, some... <laughs> 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 some extra. <laughs> some extra. Now, with gambling, I'm never lucky. Well, last week get a track, I shut off the opening gun, they killed my horse. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting old. I'm not a kid anymore. I know I'm getting old. In Vegas, I played a slot machine. Three prunes came up. Oh, we oh, yeah, we have, yeah, we've seen this one already. Look at me, they figure I'm the type of guy I get, I get drunk and go to the track, right? They're wrong. I get high for it, so I get drunk and go to the track. <laughs> <laughs> my old man, he didn't like my looks either. But he carried around a picture of the kid who came with the wallet. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding? My old man never liked me. When he took me hunting, he gave me a three-minute head start. <laughs> and on the way home, he tied me to the fender and put the deer in the car. <laughs> oh, I'm not a kid. I'm getting older, Johnny. I'm yeah. getting older. You kidding? I took a vacation, went to Mexico. I got the walks. Uh, instead of runs. You kidding? Yeah, My age walks. to me, the daily double is prune juice and an enema. <laughs> My last birthday cake. I couldn't blow out the candles. The heat drove me back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ugly, Antonio. My proctologist, he stuck his finger in my mouth. <laughs> this girl was fat and ugly. Ooh, she ugly. Ugly. How oh, ugly? I took her to the beach. They asked me what I used for bait. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just called her a whale. He's so quick. He would get he would get canceled so quick now. Yeah, now, but obviously people was not like in their feelings back then. Like I always I love these. That's why I love the old comedians. Like don't filter at all. I love it. Yeah, I love I love when they're so quick and witty like that. People like, don't just take things so personally, you know. Mm -hmm. Like so Matt, Matt Rife, do you know Matt Rife? He's a younger comedian, but he's really good at like coming up with those quick comebacks when he has hecklers in the crowd. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like the soft people, you, you can't watch his comedy, bro, because yeah. you probably be in your feelings about this. I, was, I took her to the beach. They asked me what I used for bait. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny, though. When I took her home, my mother put newspapers on the floor. Oh. <laughs> Boy. I gave her a hickey, I got fur on my mouth. <laughs> now, I tell you, my wife with eating is always a problem. She's a strict vegetarian. In fact, when I met her, she was grazing on the front lawn. I mean, she can't cook at all. She made chocolate mousse and antler got stuck in my throat. I'll tell you one thing, though, when I have sex with my wife, it's like magic. As soon as I get in bed, she disappears. But I'll tell you one thing, when my wife does have sex, she's... Disappear is crazy, bro. He don't even last it. No, not even one second at this point. His eyes are huge. It is, though. <laughs> they, they are kind of, He's good at expressing yeah. himself with his jokes, though. I love that, though. He, he is displaying some symptoms of exothalamus. Like I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is, honestly. Eyes popping out. <laughs> <laughs> it's people that actually can make their eyes pop out further yeah. than that, though. That's what's is crazy. Is that what they have? Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine your eyes just came out when we recording this video. I would be scared right like now. Like all the way? Like all the way came out. Ah. Yeah. As soon as I get in bed, she disappears. But I'll tell you what, when my wife does have sex, she screams. Ooh, especially when I walk in on her. Ooh. <laughs> oh, the other night she met me at the front door wearing a see-through negligee. The only trouble is she was coming home. Oh, I tell you, I can't take it no more. This afternoon I said to my little girl, I says, when you grow up, what do you want to be? She looked at my wife. She said single. <laughs> well, the other day I called my house. My boy answered the phone. I said to him, let me talk to mommy. I heard the kid say, mommy, it's daddy. Are you home? <laughs> I don't got no respect from anyone. Well, last Christmas, my kid wanted a BB gun. I gave him a BB gun. He gave me a sweatshirt with a bullseye in the back. <laughs> I'll tell you, nice, nice so to hear you laugh. So we can shoot him. Yeah, so you can so shoot him in his back. There's no laughs, you know. I live in a bad neighborhood. Well, just last week, a guy pulled a knife on me. I could see it wasn't a real professional job. There was butter on it. <laughs> but I'll tell you, Dean, since I live in this neighborhood, I was attacked only once. Just once, you know? It was a strange thing. The guy who attacked me had class. Yeah, he used an electric razor. <laughs> I actually, I blame myself. I was standing right next to an outlet. Oh, this guy looked crazy. He was really something. He took my watch. He took my wallet. And he took a little off the sides. <laughs> uh, my wife, I got no sex life. The dog keeps watching me in the bedroom wants to learn how to beg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is so out of pocket and random. Yeah. But Say would it. you guys ever do it if like your pet was in the room? Like if like your cat I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna be honest with you. I I've been in a situation I've done like that. that. I've done it, but I felt weird because it was watching me the whole time. <laughs> well, the dog was watching um, me the whole time. See, I could not <laughs> I would just feel like I have a story that I'm not going to share on here. You got to. You can't be scared. No filter. He didn't have no filter. Just say it. Okay, no I'll, say, I'll say what I was thinking. Yeah. I used to cover my dribble cage whenever I would change my clothes in my room when I was like a kid because I didn't want my dribble. Wow, you're mentally ill. Mentally <laughs> ill, for real. It's I was okay. a kid. I, I did that with my teddy bear. It's okay. <laughs> Who's mentally ill? <laughs> okay, for real though. Tell us no. in the comments, do you let your pets stay in the room or do you do you kick them out? <laughs> like the dog keeps watching me in the bedroom wants to learn how to beg. <laughs> I love his self-deprecating I watch my wife and learn how to roll over and play dead. <laughs> Already. I tell you, it's tough to stay married to my wife. How do you think I feel? She kissed the dog on her lips and she won't drink for my glass. <laughs> I, I was going to ask you that question. Are you like really into like that? I get so mad whenever I see like my ex or something like that kiss the dog and try to eat a drink from my cup i'll feel so like nasty i know dogs got the cleanest mouth that teeth that people no, say no they don't no they don't that's, that's why you have say. to get prophylactic antibiotics anytime you get bit by a dog yeah. i would know <laughs> but i feel weird if like a dog would just like lick my anything that i'm eating off i just feel so nasty for some reason Dex no that's loves gross. drinking out of my water cups and that's cat. my cat angel used to do that the, and she was so fast, like, the second somebody puts a cup of water down, her face is See, inside. See, I don't, I don't drink, like, out of my dad's cup because he's got a mustache. And, like, <laughs> I was drinking that. And there's, like, a mustache here. <laughs> that that mustache. Like, you probably got a thick mustache, huh? I, yeah, I like drink a, a long, like, gray hair just floating. <laughs> Brad has a whole, uh, what do you call Goatee. it? Goatee. Yeah. But luckily I haven't run into that. Maybe you just don't know. You've been drinking his goatee this whole time. That's nasty. <laughs> Maybe. 
You probably can uh, pile it up and make a somebody hair or wig out of it at this point. Yeah, tonight, you know, my dog, he started trouble again. I mean, I got a dog, he tries to run the whole house. Well, the other night he started trouble. He went over the front door, he started to bark. I went over, I opened the front door. The dog didn't want to go out, he wanted me to leave. <laughs> I was talking to my doctor. You know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombach. You know my doctor? Yeah, yeah we he love his doctor. Him. Yeah. Well, he told me last week in his office he got six cases of VD. I mean, he's all right now, you know. <laughs> and my doctor, he don't help either. He told me to run five miles a day for two weeks. I called him up. I said, Doc, I'm 70 miles from my house. <laughs> I'll tell you about trouble. I got the wrong doctor. You know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombach. You know my doctor? Yeah. What a doctor. Are you kidding me? Well, uh, doctor, I called him up, I told him I had diarrhea, he put me on hold. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say when you're driving, you know, watch out for the other guy. I'll tell you, when my wife is driving, you don't have to worry about the other guy. I mean, she'll get him. <laughs> oh, my wife she will get him, she will, for sure, yeah. 18 out of 20, sure. yeah, two guys jumped out of the way. <laughs> Why did I just I laugh a like a squirt bottle? The you know, like whenever a squirt it. bottle is like almost out, like, uh. and you're just trying to get that last bit of it, and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> See, you laugh I like a girl. I laugh like. <laughs> I remember things when I was a kid. The time I asked my old man where I came from. I've been told I sound like I'm crying when I'm laughing. <laughs> People say when I laugh, I'm uh, it don't seem realistic to them. Like it's not real. That's what somebody told me. It seems real nothing's to me. real. We live in a simulation. Yeah, We're... nothing's real. I don't even know if this is real right here watching this video. <laughs> now I'm just playing. <laughs> I remember things when I was a kid. The time I asked my old man where I came from, he told me I was brought by a crow. <laughs> my old man, he didn't help either. The time I asked my old man, how can I get my kite in the air? He told me to run off a cliff. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll tell you what, I was a kid, I was ugly yeah. too. I told my old man, he never took me to the zoo. He said, if they want you, they'll come and get you. <laughs> now, one girl, she was so fat, she got in the scale, a card came out, said, one at a time. You know? Boy, but I'm talking that's crazy. Girl big, here, girl. You know what I mean? big girl, you're kidding? She was standing alone. A cop told her, break it up. You know? Boy. You know, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you, last week was a rough week for me last week. I saw my kid and a milkman going to a father and son dinner. The milk. Hey, my kitty drives me nuts when he put crazy glue in my preparation H. Y'all know what that is, right? I'll tell you what's more important. Looks is love. You gotta have love. Preparation love is H is like a topical cream that people put on their hemorrhoids. Oh my gosh. I know this because I'm in nursing, okay? Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. I had that before, though, honestly, bro. And that was the worst. Hemorrhoids? Only reason why I had it because I was lifting heavy stuff in someone's house. And it just, like, hurt it when I used it, bro. I think because I was just straining muscle. Yeah, you were, like, just tensing. Yeah, I was tensing so much. And that shit hurt bad when I used the bathroom. Like, Apparently, a lot of people get them when they give birth. And now I'm scared to have kids. Dang. Anyway. Thank you for the birth control. Thanks for the birth control. Birth control? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I don't know. Are you on birth control? Paw Patrol. No. Paw Patrol? Oh, okay. <laughs> I might have to. I'll tell you what's more important. Looks is love. You gotta have love. Love is and important. I got plenty of love in me, Johnny. That's plenty of love. I love thing. a lot of things. Love. I love sports. I love music. And right. one of my kids. <laughs> well, I know I'm getting old. I squeeze into a parking place. I'm sexually <laughs> satisfied. You? <laughs> I'm not a kid. I'm getting old. Yeah. I know I'm getting old. When well, my last birthday cake looked like a prairie fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's us. <laughs> You know how it is. You know, I know I'm getting old. At my age, I want two girls at once, you know. Yeah. And if I fall asleep, they got each other to talk to. <laughs> and my wife, I got no sex life either. Oh, and my house, put the mirror over the dog's bed. <laughs> Are you kidding? I know I'm ugly. My dog found out we look alike. He I don't know if I would want that, you know? Like, would y'all want to be doing it with a mirror, like, above you? Because I don't... A mirror? Yeah, a mirror. I like that's what he just said, like a mirror above it. I mean, I wouldn't care. I look in the mirror in general. If it's a mirror right there and I'm in that action, then I'm looking. I'm See, I, I heard this urban legend once that, like, there's another version of yourself in the mirror, like, watching you. Don't scare that's me. That's weird, though. Just so thinking about know. it, that's creepy I right feel now. that way whenever I look at myself in the mirror for too long. Plus, I would feel like it's going to fall on you, you know? Like, what if you're just, like, there? Ah. I, that's why I could never sleep under a ceiling fan. I would just feel like it was going to fall on me the whole time. I'd be thinking that, too. Anything, I, by any object, that's I'm going to sleep with. That's how I felt whenever I was, on, like, on the bottom part of a bunk bed. I felt like... Oh, like, yeah, the bunk bed just crashed on you. Especially when someone heavy is sleeping on top of it. you like, damn, I hope you don't fall on me. 
That'd be crazy, <laughs> Especially though. with someone heavy sleeping mm-hmm. on top. Yeah. You don't want it to break down on you. What kind of child thing <laughs> Are you kidding? I know I'm ugly. My dog found out we look alike. He killed himself. <laughs> My wife, she can't cook either. My house, we pray after we eat. <laughs> after we eat? <laughs> what a lousy cook. I don't think meatloaf should glow in the dark. I mean, if she can't cook at all, my backyard, the fire's chipped in to fix the screen door. I was an ugly kid, too. I had plenty of pimples. One day I fell asleep in a library. I woke up, a blind man was reading my face. <laughs> Are you kidding? I know about the Halloween. I opened the front door. Kids give me candy. <laughs> when I was a kid, my old man, he didn't help either, you know. The time I asked my old man if I can go ice skating on a lake, he told me to wait till it gets warm. <laughs> yeah, my neighbor, there's, there's nothing but killings over there. I went out, I bought a waterbed. There was a guy at the bottom of it. <laughs> What? <laughs> Why do they just sound so gross to me? Drive they're fast. so cool. I had a they were growing groups. up. Oh, it was so cool. I used to think I was fascinated. I thought water beers was the you best thing ever in the world. You know what like old water smells like? Imagine like changing the water in a water bed. It smells terrible though when you take it out though. Yeah, like farts. Oh, it just sounds like a bad idea. But it's what just, if it just so fun What though. if it popped? What if you were, like, wearing heels and you were, like, messed up and you hopped on your bed and, like, you just popped a hole then in don't your bed? don't do that. I'm quite sure it happened to people. I popped a water bed on purpose to see what happened. It was just all water coming out. It was crazy. You did? Cap. Yeah. I'm yes. not capping. I did it on purpose, though. I did it outside, though. Rainy, why? <laughs> just, to see what ha- just to see what would happen. Yeah, see what happened. You got to test it out, though. You got to fuck around and find out. <laughs> so science. You may be your own. <laughs> well, you know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombox. So my doctor. But got a way uh, what a doctor. He's really mixed up. He grabbed my knee and told me to cough and hit me in the balls with a hammer. <laughs> oh, one time I saw him, he gave me sleeping pills. He told me to take them whenever I wake up. Go right back to bed. Okay, my problem is I drink too much, way too much. Yeah. I got my doctor a urine specimen. There was an olive in it. <laughs> my dog, too. She gives me trouble. Your dog? Uh, yeah. I got a female dog, you know. Oh. I tried to mate her. She wants 50 biscuits. <laughs> And I tell you, I got a dumb dog, too, my dog. We call him Egypt. Every room, he leaves a pyramid. <laughs> smoking, that's another one. Yeah. Try to stop smoking. That's a beauty, huh? Well, with cigarettes, my wife and I, we made a deal, my wife and I. We yeah. only smoke after sex. I got the same pack now since 1975. <laughs> the same pack for 19... 19- that's crazy. Well, it <laughs> depends on the year. Like, when was the shot? 90s? 80s? It looks, it looks like old. It looks 80s. It might be 80s. It kind of look 80s and 90s. No, 80s. I can say this is in the 80s. Like mid-80s. What bothers me is my wife. She's up to three packs a day. <laughs> that was... Hey, first time checking him out, though, he was actually funny. I love comedians with no filter. He loves talking about his wife, his family, and all that. It might be a Bill Burr, because he did. He does the same thing. He loves talking about his uh, life and his wife and all the other stuff. I love comedians talking about stuff. He kind of has the same style of comedy for all his jokes, but mm-hmm. he's pretty funny. A lot of it is like the doctor is a reoccurring character. And, yeah. and the wife and the no sex. Yeah, no sex. And yeah. the cheating and the fat people and the dogs. He love he, he love fat people though, I guess. <laughs> they don't love him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a lot of people are like, oh, why are you body shaming and stuff like that? I know how people be in the comments and stuff, but like I said though, he's funny. I can check out more of him, but if you want us to check more of him, let's get what I said, two thousand likes, but we can go for five days. They're not body shaming. They can be fat if they want. Yeah, I love all sizes. Like I don't discriminate. I know me, I don't. I don't really care at all. <laughs> I really don't. But five k likes, subscribe to my channel. Uh, go check them out. They social media will be in the description and above the screen. But y'all got anything to say before we close out? I don't know. Take care of yourself, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Take it's care crazy yourself. out here. It really <laughs> is crazy out here, man. Stay in health and all that, man. I love you guys. See you next video. Y'all know it's, it's a, a rainy, rainy day. day.